As a preschool, Ivy believes in nurturing curiosity and building a lifelong love of learning in its students. And um, we feel uh, that uh, it's not important to prepare children at this young age for any admission tests or um, any other grade level. We want them to learn for the love of learning. We want them to build um, uh, on their curiosity. Well, Ivy Preschool program is catered for one and a half year old to four and a half year old. And they cover all the seven areas of development that is physical, creative, knowledge of the world, literacy, language and uh, comprehension, that means communication, and uh, mathematics and physical development. All preschool students at Ivy are participants in a very strong uh, pre literacy and pre numeracy curriculum. Um, however, they also learn kindness, they also learn emotional regulation, they also learn self help. They are also part of a very robust um, soccer, gymnastics, and tennis curriculum. Even our toddlers do that. Now, the activities that we will do is like cooking role play, assemblies and physical development that means they'll be playing outside, gross and fine motor skills, they'll be playing with play-doh, they'll be constructed toys and they'll be doing finger painting, they'll be doing hand painting, they'll be doing body painting. The Ivy Preschool has a lot of enabling environments and one thing that we uh, really focus on is having the right kind of materials out there for children to explore on their own. So you have a math center, you have a literacy center, you have a pretend play corner, you have a creative and art center, and, and this kind of center-based learning is there in every classroom, in every early learning classroom. And um, when a child comes in, they go into the, let's say, pretend play corner and they dress up and they pretend to be a policeman or they pretend to be a doctor. And while they are play, playing pretend, they have a lot of conversation. It's a very important part of building on children's knowledge. So when they have these arguments, they actually are in the process of building their schema and understanding that, hey, a doctor can also be a doctor who I go to, who actually might give me an injection. And a doctor can also be a different kind of doctor where I go and sit on a chair who looks at my teeth. So this is building on schema. And this pretend play is, is something which we come into a class and you see two children bickering about something, you're not really going to look at it as learning, but that is also part of their learning. Then outdoor we have it. They have uh, cycles outside, they can be running outside, they can be playing outside, they have cooking area outside also. This is also pretend, they've got all the apparatus for it and then they have the sand pit, they'll be, they have a lot of, um, you know, they're using their senses, tactile experience, they're using um, you know, the sand, they're pretending, they're making patterns because making patterns is also something very interesting for the children, they're learning the mathematics that way. So we really believe in the power of having good children's literature in a classroom because that is a very important factor in building their language and communication skills because there are different kinds of books, there's different kinds of literature that comes out for children. There are readers, there are some um, labeling kind of books that come out that, that only have uh, one uh, picture on a page and a, and a word like this is an apple, this is a whatever. And then there are books that are uh, completely built around a story or a narrative which are, which are very rich in their language and very rich in their imagination which, are, which actually are the kind of books that we really want to keep in the classrooms. Just starting from the junior most, they hear the environmental sounds, they do, and they hear the teachers speak, they're hearing their story, they're singing songs, they're, they're going to be aware of the sounds and for a nursery that's a middle section, they will be doing a little bit more further because we extend it to uh, recognition of a sound and sound based learning. At this, at this age, uh, mathematical concepts don't just include counting but there's a lot of matching that happens, a lot of sorting that happens, a lot of patterns that happen. They do a lot of cooking in the classroom, which is also related to math. Because you say we put two cups of this, then we add one spoon of this, 
and and when you do and so many drops of this and then when you do this this is also counting this is also mathematical understanding and then they have to learn how to you know even remain focused for a while and they have to learn how to uh, listen to instructions and uh, so it's basically learning through fun and games and activities so it's not a conventional a b c and you know you have to do this and no a lot of paperwork no we believe that they're learning through games and fun because if they're having fun they will learn we can promise you that we will always provide a warm and a stimulating and a loving and caring and nurturing environment for your child that is the that is the promise of ivy